Hey, it's Sammy Approved. We are sitting down here on behalf of r and Collective and Atlantic Records. And you know I have my girl Raish in the building. Hey. How you feeling? I'm feeling good. Absolutely. You look great. Thank you. And Thanks I know so. you're going to sound amazing. Yes. Are you excited for the show? I'm very excited for the show, yeah. The five senses of, of love. Yes. I'm going to be seeing some of my EP and showing all the love. Yes, absolutely. So I just want to ask you a few questions, you know, just get into who you are, what you're doing, what you're about. And um, the first question I have for you, because I am just so impressed with your voice. We talked about it, um, how powerful your voice is and like how just by, because I met you prior to hearing anything, you know, just through uh, mutuals and everything. And so, I, you know, I didn't know what to expect. But then when I heard you, I'm like, whoa. And you do a lot of covers on your Instagram. I'm curious, do you remember the first song that you recorded ever? I don't. <laughs> Why is that such a difficult question today? I don't know. Yeah, actually, I do remember where it was at, though. Where were you? I was at like this really cool recording studio, and there was like a train track, though, right next to it, though. So, yeah, it was really great. We had to wait, and then you got one. I've been in a situation like that where we were by the airport. So all you heard was just like, we just keep cutting, keep cutting. You just gotta move the whole studio at that point. At that point, why are we here? <laughs> okay, so um, I know you're working, on, or you've been working a lot, you've, been, you've had shows. Um, it's exciting to have you in Atlanta here for this show. But I'm curious, um, anybody, anybody, they don't have to be alive, alive or dead, dream collaboration. Here what? Tear what? You were you already were prepared. You said that so fast. She's sick. She is sick. She is sick. I can imagine that. That would be dope. That would be dope. Would you say that you give off like? Cause I don't really think you give off necessarily an R and B vibe. But how how would you say R and B has evolved from when you were growing up, what you were listening to in terms of like the neo soul, the R and B, to now what it is today? and what you're creating, you know? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely evolved in so many ways. It changes through the years, through generations, just because of culture and evolution. So, I <laughs> right. mean, I don't know. It's beautiful, though. I like, I like the evolution of it. I think we're going great places. Would you call it anything else if not R&B? Soul. Soul, basically what it is. Yeah. 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 Okay, so last question for you. Um, if you could do anything else with your time, <laughs> if it wasn't music, what else would you do? So corny though, I'd probably be like, I mean, doing hair, like makeup. Really? Yeah. Can you do, are you good at doing hair? You did your own hair and makeup? Yeah. That's dope. I wish I was that talented. I barely got this face together today, but you look amazing. <laughs> look, I'd be like, fun. I love it. Calling on any makeup girl I know, so now I, I can hit you up. You can hit me up. My mom had a little, like, hair. Yeah. Hair salon and spa. So oh, sweet. I'm always playing and like. Doing oh, so you grew up doing this? Yeah, I'm a girl girl. I love that. Yeah. I love that. We're like complete opposite there, but we have a, a few other similarities. I got you. You got me. I got you. <laughs> bet, bet. Well, that was great. You got to tell them exactly what you have out right now, what you have coming up, what you're excited to do tonight, even. Yeah. So, my EP, I'll be performing tonight, and actually, I'm going to be performing a single. Ooh, it's new. Not out yet. It's good, yes. So, I'm really excited about that. And What's it called? It's called Feeling, and I'm not sure exactly when it's coming out, but it'll be coming out. And so, yeah, and that's it, right? So, Drive, my EP, and this new single. That's dope. And you That's can find dope. me at, my name is Raish on like all streaming platforms and then just Raish, R-A-I-C-H-E, just in case you don't know how to spell it because nobody ever does. <laughs> and it's not Rachel, it's Raish. It's Raish, get it together, okay? Look, I, I appreciate you um, and I think that they're going to really enjoy the music, but tonight they're going to hear some exclusives. Yeah. So if you weren't in the building at the RMB Collective show presented by RMB Collective and Atlantic Records, you sleep. What are you doing? Dang, you missed out. Cause we, you don't even know when the single, the single's coming out. We get to hear feelings first though, so I'm excited. Yeah. Raish, thank you so much. Thank you, you R&B Collective, Atlanta Records, we out. All right, Raish, you already know what's going on. We are doing the five senses, literally. So we're gonna start with taste. I'm gonna just bring this fork up to your mouth. Don't be alarmed. And Here's, just like, yeah, just take a little lick. 
<laughs> you know that one. Mm -hmm. How often are you? I actually don't like honey too much. Really? I don't mind it, but mm -hmm. I don't need it too much. I don't use it too much. Got you. Okay, this next one is Phil. Um, so just so the camera can see. <laughs> oh, it's funny. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> These are underwear. These are some big panties. Big, big draws. Big draws. <laughs> I love that she so <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That was cute. All right, the next one is we're going to get into those smelling scents. The smelling scents. So, I'm gonna just... you spray something on my face? Nope. Okay. Just sniff. Smells like a candle from Walmart. <laughs> what does this smell like, though, for people that can't? Like, what do you? Maybe what do you like smell? apple cinnamon. Warm apple pie. Oh. Very close. Okay, the, the next one I'm gonna uh, take the blindfold off because you need your eyes. I got you. They're gonna cut between these two. Cool. Oh wow, I was expecting like a lot of people to leave. No, they want to see you. Here. What are you talking about? Gang's all here. <laughs> the gang's all here. All right. This next one is sight. So I'm going to hand you this. What does that remind you of? What does that invoke? I really didn't listen to too much Tupac growing up. But I got into it like kind of in high school. Not too much. Like Dear Mama. But I do respect Like Dear Mama. And yes, love Tupac. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. And then I'm going to play a song for you. And I know you're gonna like this. Grab those headphones there, lady. You ready? All right. I'm really terrible about this much of Oh, you, you're gonna know this one. If you don't know this one, this one, Rach. We get that a lot. People are like, really? Like, no, come yeah. on. Classic R&B right here. Yeah, I think I know this. I don't even know all the words. It's bad. I don't know the intro though. <laughs> That's all that matters. If I want it, you inspire me to be better. Challenge me for the better. Let me help you. Wasn't it off your shoes? Yes. 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 Take off your cuff, ladies. What is this from? Like, wasn't this from a movie? This isn't a movie, though. Wasn't it a movie? Where, like, maybe it wasn't. Never did mind. you make some movies? Oh, yes, I guess I did. I mean, it's in my head. <laughs> but I love Beyonce. This That's is the classic. Like this was me in the backseat of my car when I was a little girl. After I got out of private school, I put on my little tiny yellow crop top. I think I was, you know. And be in the back seat, like grown <laughs> with the window up. <laughs> yes, I thought it was so grown. Oh my god, that's so dope. Well, thank you for tapping into the five senses with me, Rage. I hope you enjoyed yourself and all of the fabulous things that we brought you. Make sure y'all follow me, Rage. The five senses of love. <laughs>